Good evening. Good evening, world. Trezana Staples here. I hope you're, everyone is doing well today. Um, my topic of discussion this evening is navigating with aphasia and a stroke daily. Um, I had a, a, um, I had a teleconference earlier today with the National Aphasia Association, and it was um, their Aphasia Cafe. And there were, uh, the, the discussion group were people who have had, that has aphasia such as myself, uh, some caregivers, some uh, organizations, and the topic of discussion is navigating through the grocery store. Now, because, you know, I'm two years and four months into my stroke recovery, but it has not been easy, especially when I look back, uh, look back on when I first had the stroke and trying to recover once I got out of the hospital. Um, everything was crazy. I didn't even know where I was. I, I still can't drive. I look forward to it one day, but when I first got out of the hospital, everything seemed so foreign to me especially the first time that I went to the grocery store. And I definitely had some anxiety because I was nervous and I couldn't count my money and I didn't know a dime from a nickel. I mean, it was crazy because my brain was just starting to heal. So everything was all jumbled. Now, um, when I go to the grocery store, and technology has made it easy, um, I can order my food online, which I have done several times, um, and it's delivered. I know exactly what I'm getting, because I can, you know, in the comfort of my own home, on my computer or cell phone. I can pick out what I want, but it doesn't, it's not the same thing. I'd rather go to the store and look at the product or item I'm going to purchase, but it's, you know, you know, it's a way to navigate it. I don't know what people did prior to technology who had a stroke. I'm sure it was much harder than <clears throat> it is now. Excuse me, because. It's been raining all day. This is my tea. I have several tea bags because I ain't, I'm not going to get sick. I, a stroke is enough for me. I don't need no other ailments. Having to recover from this stroke, I don't need nothing else. Well, anyway, back to the subject at hand. Navigating not only through the grocery store, but just through life from aphasia and a stroke is difficult, but it can be done. And, and it, I get, it gets easier every day. When I go to the store, I definitely have a list and I know the layout of the produce market I go to or um, the the neighborhood Kroger, Kroger's I go to, I have to have a list 
I know what I need in which aisle. So I know the layout, visual layout of the store. So I'm not everywhere. I can go up one aisle and get everything and yada, yada, yada. Um, That's one way I have learned how to navigate. And then, you know, I have to let, navigate my transportation. Um, that That's not easy all the time. It's not free, um, that's for sure. But between the three forms of transportation, I can utilize, I can get to where I need to go. I may not be able to go to everywhere I need to go because, you know, it costs. It's the cost involved. But um, I do have loved ones. Um, they will call me from time to time and, you know, ask me if I need something or if I need to go somewhere or even invite me out somewhere. So if you're looking for a date, you definitely have to drive. <laughs> um, another thing with navigating, um, especially with a stroke and aphasia, you know, if you're like me, me, you're spending a lot of time alone, unfortunately. I do get out to my um, therapies, um, and I have communication with my stroke friends, my, my friends that I've learned through um, aquatic therapy and um, uh, acupuncture or whatever. But for the most part, outside of those things, I spend a lot of time alone. Um, and um, unfortunately, I get to use the computer, uh, the phone, through to utilize social media. And because I started the foundation, I'm more um, online than usual because I'm trying to promote the vision and with promoting the vision you get connected to people you don't know personally and it's a good thing but you have to be aware especially you know with aphasia and with the stroke people will take advantage and you know you don't want to be gullible and you we got to protect yourself. Um, I know earlier on in my stroke, um, there were certain things I couldn't understand or I couldn't say words that I was trying to say and people didn't understand what aphasia was. And it caused a lot of conflict. And I felt like it was their issue because I had aphasia, I had a stroke, and they knew it, but they really didn't know. So part of the reason that I am doing videos and posting blogs are, is not just for stroke survivors, is to educate people about uh, what, educate people about strokes, period. And and to add, and if you know someone who has had a stroke, this might help you if you haven't had one to understand how they communicate. Um, but at the same time, there's a lot of scammers lurking. I get messages and phone calls, and about from people I don't know and I choose not to answer I and I, I I key in to certain words because I'm very transparent what you need to know about me and my foundation is online on my profile so if people call me and haven't read my profile I know exactly 
with if they have or not, or if they make it send me messages, and you know, people think that I might be, you know, thinking I'm alone, but I might be alone, but I'm not lonely. First of all, um, I might be lonely, but not alone, something like that. But people will try to use that to their advantage and take advantage of you. So you have to be aware of the scammers because they are out there and they're lurking. So <laughs> the only time I was scammed, it was years ago and it was from someone I knew personally. Um, but it's out there. So just be aware and be careful. I know it gets lonely at times, but just be aware and protect yourself from those who are not meaning you any good. You're in control of your computer. You're in control of your cell phone. You don't have to respond and you don't have to answer. Um, but there are some good people still out in the world. We just have to navigate to make sure that we're connecting with the right people. And in terms of the aphasia, you know, I told you before in a previous video, your ex your word exercises, your um, reciting songs, reciting nursery rhymes, reading out loud definitely helps you to communicate, triggers the brain to navigate a different way. So it will bring back the memory of words that you used to know. So this is the everyday uh, exercise. Um, just being, doing these videos, have, you don't know it. They have helped me tremendously. Um, because I play them back. And if you were to hear about here, any of my previous recordings when I was in the hospital, you couldn't even understand what I was saying compared to now. And one day I will, I will play them um, to you. So with that being said, it's not, uh, it, it can be, um, easy to navigate. Um, but you just got to be calm and patient with yourself. Write your notes. Order things online. Um, and just, just take your time. And then if people want to get a little, uh, frustrated because you're not moving fast enough or not talking fast enough, let them know you had a stroke. It's their problem, not yours. You're doing the best you can. So thank you for listening. Don't forget that the second annual of, uh, stroke and aphasia awareness and alternative stroke fundraiser is on June 6th at the Out of Way, Way Bar, the Black Women's Movement uh, um, is going to participate. The Out of Way Bar is a sponsor and there's room for more sponsorships and more advertisements. Um, and next week, I think it's next week or the week after, I'm going to have a special guest, um, a, a, one of my peers, one of my friends, a good friend, and because we often have conversations of how our lives are now since we have had a stroke. So that's the conversation that I hope you'll uh, participate and come back more than one time.
Um, well, the two, $2 of giving is still in effect. If you can't buy tickets to the um, fundraiser, you can always donate $2. Um, the, the, the link to donation for the Greater Cincinnati Foundation will be up soon. And I think that's all I have this tonight. So, um, have a good evening. And my name is Trezana Staples. And I had a stroke. I am a stroke survivor. I am a phoenix rising. Thank you so much. Thank you for your support. I love you. Peace, love, and light.